Thomas Leanderson, captain of the European team. Thomas, you're playing catch-up. What's your strategy this year? To win, of course. <laughs> no, we need to beat our opponents every single match. So what we do first is go out with Paul Moore as a lead-off man, and then we put in Mika. And then uh, the third match is going to be uh, Usko Palerma. And on the fresh again, Tori will start on them. And then I'm coming in, and then we have the Baker. So hopefully we can have a 4-1 or 4-2 lead. The weak link has been the Baker team. Have you, have you been working on that? <laughs> it's nothing you can work on. <laughs> Unfortunately not. We need to stay focused and just try to go out there and do better shots than we have did in the past. So It has been worked sometimes good, and, but most of the time we've been failing a lot. So we'll see. Last year, uh, right down to the wire to the 35th point or the 33rd point, whatever it is, and didn't finish till like 1 o'clock on Monday morning. <laughs> are you, you going to let it do that again this year? I don't think it will happen again. I, I cannot see that scenario, but you never know. I mean, it's so many good players and everything can happen out here. So, but hopefully we can uh, win a little bit earlier. Both teams have got a rookie. You've got Oscar Paloma, mm -hmm. but he's bowled in this. He bowled in the World Tempe Masters here mm -hmm. uh, earlier in the year, so he's got the experience. Doug Kent is coming in for the Americans, and he's never bowled in a scenario like this. Um, do you think you've got a little bit of advantage there? No, not really. Doug Kent has uh, been around and played so many step the finals on the TPBA tour, so he knows he likes to be in the in the lights and all this stuff. So uh, it's no different between the teams, no way. Okay, well, congratulations and uh, good luck, good fortune. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas.